Hi guys, Kyle here from C4 Depot, here to show you our exciting new product called Infinite Dunes. Infinite Dunes is a sand dune generator for Cinema 4D um, that enables you to produce infinite dunes in every direction, customizable and easy to use very fast. So let's jump into C4D and I'll show you how to use it. Um, assuming you have installed it in your C4D directory under Browser, Library, you'll put your LIB4D file in the library, um, restart C4D, and you will have in your content browser, Infinite Dunes will show up under Presets and Infinite Dunes. Um, to load Infinite Dunes up or any of the props, just double click and it'll be instantly added to your scene. Um, and you'll see this uh, kind of weird object here. To start using it, um, let's go ahead and go to our dune camera and activate that. And now we are inside of an infinite landscape of dunes as far as you can see or move in any direction and you will see um, these dunes never end. They're made from uh, procedural noises and um, are customizable. So let's go ahead and show you how to do some of that. Um, let's click on infinite dunes and over here in our attributes manager we'll see our user interface. Uh, starting off we have overall height so um, we could change the height to be more intense or less intense here. Next we have sand ripple strength which I will show you what that is. It doesn't show up very well in your editor view so sand ripples are basically uh, these things we see here um, and uh, they're a normal map so uh, depending on your uh, OpenGL capacity, you will see them um, somewhat a little bit in here as a preview, but this slider controls that. Uh, next, we have bump strength, um, which which is small bump, bump strength, which is some variation to the, the dunes. Um, slightly bigger detail than the ripples, but not like enormous. So. In other words, in your viewport, you may not be able to really see much changing when you move this slider, but it, just so you know, that's what it's controlling. Um, and all the way down, you can control, this is uh, more rounded dunes versus more razorback dunes. Um, and this kind of moves bigger dunes out, but uh, you can, with these uh, parameters, you can sort of create more of a plane, have more um, flat planes with uh, meshed with bigger dunes um, in case that's something you need and and that's really about it for customization you can change the scale of it here um, to make it bigger or uh, more stretched elongated dunes so if you're thinking the scales really small go ahead and bump these up you know to your needs um, next we have subdivision so first of all we have the editor subdivision um, that would be this mode we're working in this is not how the final render will look we keep this low just so things run smooth when we're working with the dunes so right now I have zero subdivisions and you can see it's running really smooth the higher I make this the slower um, it's gonna behave and it depends a lot on your video card actually so I find that one is a good balance between seeing some detail and being productive. Um, sub subdivision renderer is actually our final render. You could see uh, the difference between this. This is sort of blocky, especially off in the back. Um, but at four, we get smooth uh, dunes everywhere we look, which is uh, where you're going to really want to pay attention. I wouldn't really go much lower than three if I were you, but if you want to, you can do whatever you need to. And next we have random seed. This will change basically every procedural noise that makes the dunes. Um, its placement and just randomly changes it for you in case uh, it didn't import to your specific liking. And that's about it guys. So um, I'm going to show you a little video I made, a couple of them actually, uh, using infinite dunes. This was a, a beach ball I have um, blowing in the wind on the dunes and it's kind of a long video not too long but it's to kind of illustrate that these dunes are forever they look amazing really realistic and the only thing missing here would be like a pyro cluster uh, burst for every time the ball bounces but I was uh, 
a little bit in a hurry, so I just left it, kept it simple. Um, anyway, that's about it uh, for Infinite Dunes. If uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you some videos I I made here, uh, another one anyway. So here's here's another test render. Um, the camera slowly panning using Real Skies, one of my other products, works amazing in conjunction with this and Infinite Ocean. Infinite Dunes, as far as you could see, um, you know, they're detailed up close and detailed enough far away, no matter where you're looking. So that's our walkthrough for Infinite Dunes. I hope you guys find this product useful and take care.